Okay, so what we're doing today is starting a, a new quail pen. They're basically going to be seven foot long and two foot wide outside to outside. We've already got our pieces pre-cut, so we're going to start putting them together. We're going to use these three inch construction screws. Just put one. We've ripped down some old two before's that we got off a demo job we done. We'll put one on each end and then one in the middle. Some of this wood got a little bit of warp to it. So we just make do with what we got because it was free. All right, from there, we'll grab the center be right at 42 inches And that's our base frame. So the next thing we're gonna do is put the wire down on that. And to do that, we use these three quarter inch narrow crown staplers and our narrow crown staple gun. So we'll get that measured out and started nailing and get back with you. All right, so now we've got our wire cut and on our frame mostly, we've got a couple spots. We turn our nailer back on. We'll just pop the wire. That is the fastest way I've found to put this wire on. Just line it up and it does a great job. So next thing, we're gonna cut us some blocks to go on the corners and in the middle to build a frame for the top. So we'll get those cut and get back with you. All right, so now, we, we got our top frame. This will be the bottom. The top will have 10 on it. We cut us some two befores for the corners so we cover both of these joints. We'll have a screw on each side to get the holes pre-drilled. And we'll just come in here and we'll put a screw in from this side. And one there. kind of angle that one back because I can get it back further from the edge and still get a good bite in on two before. Same thing with that one. I'm trying to miss this screw. So I angled it.
All right. So now we've got our top and bottom. We're going to start putting our braces for our frame and our doors in. That one's loose. So we'll flip it over. And we'll cut us some one by twos. It'll be one in the back and then two in the center around our door. We'll have a, a 16 inch door on each side in the front so we can reach all the way down. So we'll get back with you on that. All right, so our, our opening side to side is 39 and a half. Divide that in half, 19 and three quarters. We picked up the center right there. Our door, 16 so at eight inches we made a mark on it line the two marks up mark where our upright pieces will go and we'll we'll get those glued and screwed so what i'm done here i've got my little hinges and i'm pre-drilling the hole I already stuck them on there with one. Now I'll take and just put the screws in it. Drop the screws. All right. So there's that. So attach it to this side. We're just going to use some one and a quarter wood screws, which will be a lot stronger than those little things. So what we'll do, just kind of put it in the hole, split the difference. Left it a little shy so you get around the wire on the bottom. Get one started. Get the other one set where we want it. There. Works great. So we'll get the other one put on and we'll get to the next step. All right, the next thing we're going to do put our latch and a little backing strip in the door so it can only close to close. And that's just pretty much flush with the inside, a couple finished nails. and it's good to go. Now to let it close to just flush. So then we'll come over here. We just cut a little piece of wood and we're gonna use these flathead screws a Craig screw and we'll just come in pop that in 
I like to use the flathead screw because it'll, it'll hold and it won't split the little tab. We can twist that. We'll put a, some kind of handle on it so we can get to it. I have to go up to the wood shop and make them. There we go. That's pretty much it, guys. Other than a little bit of wire, I'm gonna put tin on the top so my my poop trays will sit on it. There'll be some wire in the back and the plywood ends. And that'll be a go. I'll spray these with some um, basically a porch sealer. I picked up pretty cheap for another project. I'll spray them just to kind of waterproof them, weatherproof them since it's just white lumber. And we'll get with you on the next step.